Hello boys and girls and welcome back to Children's Church. Today we're going to think about forgiveness and God's forgiveness for us and um, hopefully we learn about how we can forgive others as well. Here we have our liturgical calendar again. Can you see the huge arrow I've put on so that you can clearly see where we're up to in the church's year? We're still in the month of September but almost halfway through. Isn't that amazing? And we're still using the colour green in our uh, children's church and you'll see it in churches as well. Let's go on to the lighting of our candle prayer. Our candle. All lit now. Let's say our prayer. As we now bring fire to this candle, making it glow with light, may we also bring the fire of love to this time of prayer and worship. May this candle send out dancing rays like sunrise on the most glorious morning. And may these rays of light encircle us and those we love. Amen. Pop it back up there. You can see it in the background. And we'll sing our first song. How great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all will see. How great. How great is our God. lovely way to start our children's church today. Let's say our prayers. For this day and all that you give us, we thank you God. For the fun, friendship and learning we do together, we thank you God. Lord, for all the times we have let you, ourselves or others down, we are sorry. Be with us as we gather in your name. Be with us, Lord. Amen. What we're going to do next is say the creed or a version of the creed that um, says what we believe. Now that first line, it says that God is my father in heaven, but I think we can think of God as our father, our mother, 
and both parents all together because God is so amazing. I believe that God is my Father in heaven. I believe that God made the world, gives me life and helps me grow. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Jesus shows me that God is love. Jesus lived and died for me. Jesus is alive now, alive in me and in my neighbour. I believe in the Holy Spirit who helps me love others, who makes me holy, who helps me know God better. And I believe in God's family, the church. I believe that I will live and with God forever and ever. Amen. Now our reading is about forgiveness. And actually it talks about a, um, a time when somebody was forgiven but then they forgot how they were so graciously forgiven and um, wouldn't forgive somebody who did wrong by them. Let's have a listen to it. Thanks to the Saddleback Kids. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the unforgiving servant. This is Jesus. hey -o! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, Jesus was talking with his disciples and teaching them when Peter asked, Um, Gira? How often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? Jesus said, no, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Then Jesus told a parable. He said, the kingdom of heaven can be compared to a king who decided to get his money back that he had let his servants borrow. While the king was doing this, one of the servants who owed him a million dollars was brought in. One million dollars, please. The servant couldn't pay, so the king ordered that he be sold along with his family and everything he owned, to pay the debt. Wait, please! But the servant begged the king, please be patient with me and I will pay it all. Then his king was filled with pity for him and he let him go and forgave his debt. But when the man left the king, he went to a fellow servant who owed him a few thousand dollars. Uh, hi? Come here, Will. He grabbed him and demanded that he pay him back immediately. Oh, wait, please. His fellow servant begged for a little more time. He said, be patient with me and I will pay it. No. But the servant wouldn't wait. He had the man arrested and put in prison until the debt could be paid in full. When some of the other servants saw this, they were very upset. They went to the king and told him everything that had happened. Then the king called in the man he had forgiven and said, You evil servant, I forgave you that tremendous debt because you pleaded with me. Shouldn't you have mercy on your fellow servant just as I had mercy on you? Then the angry king sent the man to prison to be punished until he had paid all that he owed. Jesus then said, that's what my heavenly Father will do to you if you refuse to forgive your brothers and sisters from your heart. God is the great forgiver. And um, sometimes it's hard to forgive people who do things that uh, we don't like, isn't it? Um, but that's what we're asked to do. And if uh, that's what God wants us to do, then there must be a really special reason for it. It doesn't mean that we have to put ourselves in the same position to be heard again, does it? I don't think it does anyway. But um, for our own sake and for the sake of God's kingdom, we're asked to forgive. Let's listen to another story and it might help us um, see uh, an, another example of how, can we, how we can be a forgiving person. You have a look at how the mum of the panda in this story forgives her little panda. 
Hi boys and girls. Um, I'm going to share a story with you now. I hope you enjoy it. It's called I Will Always Love You and it is by Jane Gervis. It's published by Reader's Digest Children's Books. And I guess you can see who the main characters are. They're pandas, aren't they? And can you see what all this is? Do you know that that's a plant called bamboo and that's what pandas love to eat. Little panda hid in a tree. His mother was busy gathering bamboo for supper and little panda was supposed to be helping her. Where are you little panda? called mother. There we are and there she is looking really closely for little panda. Little panda shouted, jumping out from behind the tree. Oh, you startled me, said mother. You're not being a help at all. Do you still love me? asked little panda. Of course, said his mother. I will always love you. I did something very naughty asked little panda what if I went off to climb the highest mountain in the world where it was cold and snowy and I didn't take my jacket oh dear not good can you hear your grown-ups at home saying it's cold outside don't forget to wear your jacket not taking a jacket on a long and chilly adventure would be a little bit naughty, said mother, but I would still love you, she added with a smile. Of course she would. As all good parents would. With a sigh, little panda slipped his paw into his mother's larger one and leaned into her. But what if I took my jacket and went off to sail the seven seas without leaving you a note? He asked. Oh dear, that would worry me if I was Mummy Panda and I couldn't find Little Panda who'd taken off without leaving a note. Even if he had left a note, I'd be very worried and maybe even a little cross that he'd done it. Not letting me know where you had gone would be a little bit naughty, said Mother, but I would still love you, she added giving his little paw a loving squeeze. There they are, talking about all this down by the beautiful pond. Hmm. What if I left you a note telling you I was off fighting a big dragon and saving the world? But I didn't wear my rain boots and I got my feet wet, asked little panda. He's doing, thinking about doing all these naughty things and what his mum would do if he actually did them. Not wearing boots during a rainstorm, especially with a dragon nearby, would be a little bit naughty, said Mother. But I would still love you even then, she added, giving her little panda a big fuzzy hug. It's raining at their house that day. Big puddle he's standing in. <laughs> and what if I wore my jacket and my boots and left you a note that I was flying around the world, but I forgot to come home in time for supper? Asked the little panda. Well, that would only not just worry mum, but it would also not be good for little panda either, because I could imagine that panda's tummy would be rumbling from hunger. It would be wonderful to see the whole wide world, but not coming home in time for supper would be a little bit naughty, said Mother. Even so, I would still love you, she added, giving her little panda a soft, furry kiss. 
What if I came home in time for supper, but I took all the bamboo we were going to eat? Asked little panda. Why? What would you do with it? Asked mother in surprise. I'll show you, said little panda. He took his mother by the hand and led her around the tree. What's he going to show her? What do you think it might be? Let's have a look. See, said little panda, I will always love you too. There we go. <laughs> the end. I hope you enjoyed that story. And I think that that's what God is like. God will always love us no matter what we do. And all we need to do is turn to God and ask for God's forgiveness. Let's say our prayers. Creator God, we thank you that you forgive us. May we all know your deep love for us. Just as you taught us, help us forgive those who hurt us. We give thanks for those who make sure that we have enough food, clothes and shelter. We ask that you would send them your blessings. We ask that you help all children and all people everywhere who are hungry, thirsty or worried. May they be given all they need. Amen. And we say our Lord's Prayer together now. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And let's say our sending out prayers. May everyone come to Jesus like children, open to the news that he loves us and asks us to share this news with others. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord, Amen. And our last song is the same one as we had last week. I think it's a really good, lively one to finish with. From my head to my shoulders, my knees to my toes, I praise the Lord.
Yay! I love that song. Let's put out our, our light now at the end of our children's church. Creator God, as the smoke from the candle rises and mixes with the air around us, help us remember that you too are still with us and go with us from our time of worship. Amen. Well, boys and girls, that's it for Children's Church this week. Have a happy and safe week and we'll see you next time. Bye.